This is eLife Reflections. Hello and welcome to another time of devotional study. Today, we will be reflecting on the topic, Do you know God has chosen you? And our scripture is taken from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 to 6. I read from the NLT. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. God decided in advance to adapt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belonged to his dear son. Amen. After a brief introduction and salutation of grace and peace, Paul praised God for his bountiful blessings which he has poured unto his children. He prompted the believers that they had been chosen by God in Christ, and God's purpose for choosing them was to be holy and blameless in his sight. It was his will to choose us, and it gave him great pleasure to do so. Beloved, do you know that God has chosen you into his own family, and are you fulfilling God's purpose for your life. This is food for thought, I guess. I would have us to review the passage above by answering the following. What kind of blessing has the Father given to those who are united with Christ? Reference verse 3. When was God's love demonstrated towards humankind for choosing us? Reference verse 4a. What was God's purpose for choosing us in Christ? Reference verse 4b. Why did God adapt us into his own family, bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ? We can find that in verse 5. And finally, what should be our immediate response to God's love and glorious grace of adoption? We can find that in verse 6. There are some truths in the scripture above that cannot be ignored. And so, let's do a recap. God chose and blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. God decided in advance to choose us even before he made the world. God chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes, not in the eyes of men, in his eyes. Again, God chose us to be his adopted children because it gave him great pleasure. And finally, we must praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to Christ. Wow! By application and response to the above, beloved, how can we demonstrate our new identity in Christ? Derived from the acronym CHOSEN, here are some attributes we must exhibit. Let us see, in the acronym CHOSEN, we must be committed to God who loved us and chose us in Christ for himself. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. God has made us what we are and in union with Christ Jesus, he has created us for a life of good deeds, which he has already prepared for us to do. Letter H. We must be holy and blameless in our Christian work, especially in the eyes of God. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. Even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy 
and without fault in his eyes. Letter O. We must be obedient to the word and will of God for our lives. Exodus chapter 19 verse 5, God said, Now if you obey me and keep my commandments, you will be my own people. The whole earth is mine, but you will be my chosen people. Letter S in the acronym CHOSEN. We must submit to the Lord and show forth his praises in our lives. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. And this is one of my favorite scriptures. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. And I say amen to that. Letter E. We must be excellent in all we do as adopted members of the family of God. Philippians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10. Paul said, And this I pray, that your love may overflow still more and more in real knowledge and all discernment, so that you may discover the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and blameless for the day of Christ. And finally, letter N, in the acronym CHOSEN, we must be nice to everyone, especially to members of our new family, and love genuinely. Galatians chapter 6 verse 10. So then, while we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, and especially to those who are in the household of faith. Amen. Remember, God chose us before the foundations of the world were made. Knowing who we are in Christ is the key of living a victorious Christian life. The Bible says, by his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all this by coming to know him the one who called us to himself by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. Child of God, every blessing of the Holy Spirit has been given by the Father to those who are in the Son. We must accept our new identity and walk in this assurance, giving praise to God always and living for him. Hallelujah. In conclusion, what have we said? We must live like chosen people. That is, we must be committed to God. We must be holy and blameless in the eyes of God. We must be obedient to the word and will of God. We must be submissive and show forth his praises. We must be excellent in all we do. And finally, we must be nice to everyone and love each other genuinely. Wow! I have been so blessed to know who I am in Christ. How about you? Please prayerfully ponder over these verses again and pray for grace to be holy and faultless in his eyes. Shall we pray? Father, thank you for choosing us in Christ to be part of your own family. May we bring you pleasure in all we do and say, Amen. Wow, I have been blessed. How about you? By the way, this is all that time would allow us to share today. And so, until I come your way again, Remember, it's Suska wishing you Jesus. God richly bless you.